Welcome everyone, could this Mark 18 motto be the new best budget airsoft gun out there? It's got a lot of great things going for it, including the price. We're going to go over every inch of it to explain why we think the answer could be. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome. If this is your first time here and you're into gear guides and gun reviews and gameplay and all sorts of other cool airsoft stuff, join us now by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss anything. Today, we're looking at this guy right here. This is the Lancer Tactical Mark 18 Motto, provided to us by Fox Airsoft for review, where you can pick it up for just $130. All right, guys, now stay with me on this one. Historically, Lancer Tactical Gen 1s got a lot of hate. And there's still airsofters out there that smell the stink of that stigma when you say the words Lancer Tactical. But these Gen 2s have been out for a couple of years now, and Lancer did something really right the second go around. And there's a lot of other airsoft creators out there, just like me, that put the Lancer Tactical Gen 2s in their list of best starter guns out there. And if you watch the channel, you know, we started airsoft about two years ago, right when these were brand spanking new, and my first airsoft gun ever was a Lancer Tactical Gen 2 LT-12B. I put tons of miles on it and it was just really good, really accurate, really far shooting. And I still love it even to this day. And we still have an LT-19B that when all three of us managed to get out and play together, that one still makes it to the rotation because it, it just performs that good. So when I put my hands on this SBR, I immediately thought you're getting all the benefits of those Gen 2 long rifles but with the versatility of a shorter gun. And we're gonna go over everything this AEG has to offer, but first, let's see what's in the box. Oh, what's in the box? All right guys, today we're having a look at this Lancer Tactical Generation 2 gun. This is the LT-02T G2, a one-to-one -one replica of, and better known as its real life counterpart, the MK-18. All right, let's have a look. All right, inside we've got our product documentation that's taped against the top of the, the box here. We've got the owner's manual, some advertisements, nice little shooting target, registration information, and then some Lancer Tactical stickers. And I think there's a couple things missing here because this is a review item that was sent to us and it's going back. So it's probably been opened. Um, ordinarily when you get a Gen 2 Lancer Tactical gun, because we have a couple of them, you're going to get also a bag of BBs, usually 0.28 biodegradable BBs, and usually some brandage like this bad boy right here, this BBC morale patch. Let's have a look at what we got in the box. We've got the gun, obviously. We have a metal winding high cap Lancer Tactical magazine, standard wall charger, Lancer Tactical branded 9.6 volt nunchuck battery. We got a standard vertical foregrip. And then under the gun, there's not an unjamming rod, but ordinarily I think you're going to get one. So let's so let's have a look at this gun real quick. So this is the Mark 18. It's a CQB length gun, mostly polymer, standard triangle sight up front, and you've got an adjustable flip up back sight. Up front you got a seven inch riz, nice audible clicks into semi and full auto. And we'll see when we actually fire it, but in semi without the battery in it, it's actually got pretty short trigger pull. Pretty much does it for what's in the box. So. Let's go talk about this gun. All right, guys, there you go. This is a one-to-one -one replica of the real Mark 18 Mod O, which came about when the Navy created the CQBR Special Mission Upper Receiver to be paired with a bunch of obsolete M16A1s they had sitting around collecting dust. And then voila, Mark 18 was born. And in real life, this guy is a serious military-grade short barrel rifle utilized by SOCOM and the Navy SEALs. Now this airsoft version is marketed as a solid, reliable starter airsoft rifle. And we're gonna put that to the test today. It's a full polymer body, upper and lower, and it comes in weighing just four pounds, 10 ounces with the magazine and the battery. And depending on where you've got your crane stock positioned, it could be as short as just 27 inches. It's got an 11 inch outer barrel that is hiding a stock 6.03 tight bore inner barrel. And this guy comes in black and tan, and it also comes in two different FPS variations. You can get it uh, with a spring that pushes 350 FPS or one that pushes 400 FPS. Now up front, you've got your traditional orange birdcake flash hider, standard front triangle sight, a removable flip up back sight, and ribbed rail covers over the quad Picatinny rails. You get a vertical foregrip, left side faux paddle style bolt release, got a left side metal charging handle that 
doesn't lock back, but it does reveal the polymer pro wind style rotary hop up. And it pretty much is a carbon copy of the pro wind hop up unit. You got your faux Ford assist on the right side, left side fire selection controls, right side mag release, which drops out the metal winding 300 round high cap magazine. Cool Lancer tactical trademarks on the left side and a standard A2 grip. Up front, you got an underside metal swivel sling mount. And then on the crane stock in the back, you've got a QD sling point as well as horizontal and vertical sling tie positions as well. The stock itself is a multi-position crane stock. It's got a nice rubberized butt pad, which when you remove it, it gives you access to the battery compartment inside the buffer tube. And the space inside the buffer tube and left and right of the butt stock itself gives you plenty of room to put either a candy bar style battery or, or an unjunk style battery as well. Now inside the gun, you've got Lancer Tactical's Generation 2 Full Metal Version 2 gearbox. Now there's no stock MOSFET on this gun, so while running at 11.1 LiPo will definitely increase your trigger response and rate of fire, it may also increase the wear and tear on your internal parts. But the Lancer Tactical Generation 2 wiring harness has solid low resistance wiring that's gonna extend the life of your trigger contacts. And I personally ran an 11.1 LiPo in my LT12 for nine straight months, playing almost every weekend, never had any issues with it. And these Gen 2 gearbox have other solid internals that you wouldn't expect to get in a budget starter gun, like eight millimeter metal bushings, a metal spring guide, full metal tooth piston with a ported piston head, high performance M120 spring with a quick change spring system, and a selector chip on the sector gear to make sure that it doesn't double feed or misfeed. So this gun has got a ton of good stuff stuffed into that $130 starter price. But the question is, how's this gun perform? We're gonna go find that out right now. The gun is averaging about 390 feet per second with 0.2 gram BBs, which is really setting you perfectly under that 400 FPS limit, not really wasting a lot of power. But on an 11.1 LiPo battery, it's only getting about 14 and a half rounds per second, which is nothing to write home about, but nothing that's really a negative either. But now accuracy and consistency, even at distance, is where this gun really shines. That tight bore barrel combined with that pro wind style hop up really just make for some seriously impressive accuracy. It just doesn't feel like a starter gun. All right, guys, there you go. This gun is shooting comfortably under the 400 FPS limit, but pushing up close to it enough that you're not wasting in your runway. And that's one of the things I really like about these Generation 2s. Whether you get the 350 FPS version or the 400 FPS version, they really put you as close to that max power limit as you can get without going over. It's got a relatively shorter trigger pull than I would have expected on a starter airsoft gun. And you know, all around it just performs like a much more expensive gun. That Generation 2 gearbox with that tight bore inner barrel and that pro wind style hop up, they all combine just to make sure that you hit what you're aiming at every time. And I have personally threaded the needle countless shots with my own LT Gen 2. You hit? All right. Wow. And because this is an SBR with a quick change spring system, it's practical in almost every situation. It's really good for indoor CQB use. You can push this crane stock in and have a really, really nice and tight, compact presentation for indoor CQB. You can use it outdoors for uh, woods ball as well. And it's even good for milsoms. And because it is a shorter gun made of high quality reinforced polymer, it, it's a much lighter gun as well. I honestly think if I were in the market today for a good starter airsoft gun, especially if I was on a tight budget, I'd go with this one. All right guys, so tell us what you think about this Mark 18 motto in the comments below. And if you've got any other suggestions for the viewers about really good budget starter airsoft guns, definitely share those as well. And guys, if you really wanna help the channel out, like, comment, and share the video, because that helps us get out in front of more new people. And if you haven't already, Join us on our airsoft journey by hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video that comes out every Tuesday with bonus videos on Fridays. 
And until then, we'll see you next time.